Yaskawa. <laughs> And finally, another uh, function that we've developed. Again, it's kind of for adding to the integrity of a system. And this one is an absolute encoder position manager. And this one is a little more complicated to talk about. Its, its goal is to uh, give an indication that the absolute encoder position is valid, as, as seen by this output here. So right now, I have been running this system. My absolute encoder position is valid. Um, what's happening inside this block is there's an MC set position function block, there's a Y reset absolute encoder function block, and there's also a read access alarm function block. So it's kind of taking those three um, features and combining them into one. And that's a key point to this block being of service is that you would have to use this block and no other means of resetting the absolute encoder or setting it because to do so outside of this block would defeat the purpose of its uh, ability to detect and determine if the position is valid. So um, there's actually a uh, retain output used in this case. So even after power cycle, this block can, uh, can show that the position is valid uh, and it remains valid until there's any kind of encoder alarm related to the absolute encoder. So that's its key point of operation is any time there's an encoder-related alarm, it does a reset coil on its position valid output. And it will stay off and, and, uh, until the alarm is cleared and until the uh, set position input is executed. So let's demonstrate that real quick. Um, I can actually uh, demonstrate an encoder alarm by disconnecting the encoder from the amplifier momentarily. Okay, so at this point, we don't have uh, an absolute encoder alarm yet, but I have unplugged the encoder and reconnected it. You'll see that if I switch over to the access control function block, there is an access alarm. And that alarm is AC9, which means encoder disconnection. Okay, so this alarm is not clearable by simply uh, a casual alarm clear, but it requires power cycle according to the documentation in the servo pack manual. Well, in addition to that, we can actually clear that via software um, by resetting Mechatrolink because that causes a soft reboot of the servo packs. So if I uh, reset the Mechatrolink, the AC9 alarm will disappear. It did disappear. And now that this, the amplifier has reset or, or restarted, we've lost our position valid output. And that is because now the amplifier is displaying an encoder-related alarm. So I have an access alarm. It says A82. And that's what the amplifier is showing on its front panel right now. So um, I'm using this output, again, in some interlocks to enable the servo or to actually move the servo um, in an automatic mode. So now we're prevented from doing that until we uh, resolve the situation with the absolute encoder. So I need to first reset the absolute encoder. And that would remove the A82 alarm. It did do that. The alarm is gone. If I look back at the uh, access control function block, the A82 alarm is gone. We do have a controller side alarm now. Okay, so all alarms are cleared on that axis. And at this point, I still do not have a valid position. And that is because I need to reset the position. To, I, need to, I need to physically move the axis and calibrate it back to a known position and, and define that position and set it using this function block. And at that point, I now have, once again, a valid uh, absolute encoder position. And so now my interlocks used elsewhere in the program uh, are happy and would allow me to do any automatic uh, modes of operation. 
Okay, so this, uh, that was the last block we had to discuss today.